Who is detect? What is who or what is detecting me? Is it this guy? Yeah, it's this guy. Oh well. Oh, this is gonna take so long. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking about speeding this up, just because this is gonna take forever for him to get there. Like for yeah, for show, sure, guy. Walk a little faster, please. How much space do we have? Okay, we can pick up stuff along the way. Some stuff. Not all the stuff, but some of it. Oh, how badass do I look standing here? Pretty badass, actually. Silent boots, nocturnal stuff. They look pretty badass. There's some clipping textures, which kind of suck, but... Uh, actually, yeah, I have to like put the stuff down in a specific order, like top, like pants, top, boots, gloves, hat. Actually, no, like pants, hat, top, gloves, boots. That way, they uh, nothing clips too heavily. That's something I should look into, like figuring out how, how to just casually adjust this stuff. Because that'd be kind of cool. Be nifty. Being one of those people that's talented enough to uh, to make your own mods. Over here. Oh, really, really steep side of the mountain there. That's what's over there. Is there a freaking camp over here? Yeah, it's right there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you guys are real close, aren't you? Don't mind me, just person gathering ingredients to make potions. Do I have skills that I can spend? I have a perk. I have one. Alchemy, physician, potion you mix of health... Strength and or er, health, magic, and stamina are twenty five percent more powerful. Benefactor twenty five percent greater magnitude. Oh, I gotta <laughs> I start put points into that because I want to get some sick potion skills. Plus, I like the uh, the uh, skill here. Uh, what is it? It's not Benefactor, it's Experimenter. Because, like, once you max this out at 3, it, uh, then when you eat something, you just gain all of its abilities. Makes crafting potions super duper convenient and easy. Because you just, like, consume one, and all of a sudden you're like, I can make this potion, and this potion, and this one. I believe there's another skill that allows you to, uh, you can just ignore, what's it called? There we go, found a camp. Where you can just ignore the, uh, drawbacks of a potion. Like, potions you mix have no negative side effects or something. But, like, weakness to magic, weakness to fire, stuff like that. It would come from, like, two ingredients mixing in a fashion you didn't want. No longer applies. Which that'll be super duper helpful when I do finally get it done. Now, one of the things I do enjoy about this game far more than like Oblivion, because like Oblivion did kind of have a uh, had a more concise story to it. Or it's like you're doing this, then this, then this. You can deviate a little bit by going to the guilds, but moreover, just the main story itself was a solid, continuous point A to point B. This one has a uh, slightly less concise story, but its leveling system is so much better because it's like, how do I level up? I just play the game more. I craft more potions. I do more. Uh, I shoot more bows. I swing more swords. I get hit more in my armor. And it 
it just makes the uh the progression feel like you earned it more than just like oh i did this quest and then i leveled up and i did this quest and then i leveled up which is something that unfortunately fallout has kind of failed to deliver to me is just like the uh the similar leveling style like i thought it was going to be that way in four where it's like oh you get better at crafting and repairing and stuff the more you repair your stuff or the more you craft this that and the other thing it's like not really it's still just very much do a quest discover a location get xp for doing it xp causes you to level level up and all of a sudden you're smarter like okay so i found this river so now all of a sudden i can fix hunting rifles better does make a lot of sense just kind of weird but hopefully that they'll fix that in a iteration of it that's if they decide to go back to fallout at all i mean 76 was such a gung-ho like this is what we're doing forever and then nobody bought it so I hope they do. I hope they go back to Fallout, but I want them to like double down on like the single player experience of it, making it a better, tighter thing, prettier. Make a new engine for God's sakes to put your games on. If you're gonna put it, you're gonna use the same engine for like 400 games. Make a new one. It's better. Like look at Capcom with the RE engine. Or yeah, all their games are coming out on the RE engine, but it's beautiful and it utilitarian. It does everything. And it doesn't have all these nagging problems with it. Alright, I'm trying to find things to do while I talk. And follow this guy. <laughs> like, this engine. This engine is good. When it first came out, this engine was great. However. At this point in time. After this many years. It's time to. Think about investing in. Another engine that might be a little more up to date I can't remember if I have a bounty here that's not helpful hopefully I don't that'll make things kinda tough what's up child people I'm only just borrowing your stuff I wonder where he's going right now, because he's just kind of what You know what I could do? I could read his gosh darn, uh, uh, Gaius Morrow's schedule. Where's he going? You are to adhere to the following schedule. Morden, Morden Dust, Solitude, the Emperor's Tower. Morden Dust Evening, Solitude Castle. Dower, food, Castle Dower, food and sleep. Turtus, Windhelm, the Palace of the Kings. Turtus Evening, Windhelm. Okay, so yeah. So he's going somewhere here. I don't know where he's going. This Joel said to go to Solitude, and he's going to Solitude, sort of? I guess. Gonna go down there and go into the town through the back door or something? This is kind of a pretty view from here. Just like looking down, seeing the little walkway that goes down to the docks, the big ships, the pseudo swamp over there. I wonder if there's any of these flowers here. The blue, the pink, the orange. That I, uh, the thistle, the lavender, that I haven't gotten all four of the ingredient parts for yet. <laughs> Let's check that real quick. Ingredients. Blue mountain flower. I only have two. <laughs> only have two blue mountain flower ingredient things. That's so weird. Lavender. Nope. Purple. I have all four. Red. I have all four. Thistle. Nope. Still only have one. Weird. You think I'd have had all four of those by now? Just because they're such a common ingredient, I pick so many of them. But I guess if I don't use it for stuff. Then it becomes rather difficult for me to, uh. Like, uncover the other ones. Because that's kind of how that works. Right now, 
it, this is probably one of the most challenging sessions to of sitting down and recording because it's like I only kind of want to do. I uh, I was only kind of thinking about doing it right now, but I'm like I gotta do it. I have to. <laughs> that way I don't miss any scheduled things. Like even though I've got time because like I record these in advance and stuff, it's like like oh I gotta sit down and do it because otherwise I'm gonna like look back in a week or two and be like why didn't I record when I had the free time and you know I've got <sighs> I bought Sekiro and I haven't played it yet because I got swept up reading this anime or this manga and that consumed like an entire day pretty much just because <laughs> I they made an anime about it I really like the anime I watched all the all 13 episodes of that then I'm like oh I'll go find the, the manga online and I read that all the way through, all 39 <laughs> issues of it or whatever it is. Just alrighty. So now I'm uh, and the, now I'm like, no, before you, before you even think about playing Sekiro, <laughs> Shadow Die twice, you have to record. Otherwise, you'll play Sekiro, you'll get swept up in Sekiro. And all of a sudden you'll be like, where? I don't have any recordings for today. Oh no. Because I've got to do secure, or I've got to do this. i got to do Bloodborne again. I, I've got to play a lot of games. I know, I'm compl I'm not really complaining, but it sounds like I'm complaining. That, oh man, I'm going to play all these games. You guys just don't understand how hard it is. Like, I'm not even getting paid to do this. This is just fine though. It's fine, because I, I, I love doing this. I like to play games. You know what I don't like to do? Clean my room. <laughs> like, cleaning sucks. It takes me forever, and I'm currently in the process. Like, my room looks like a tornado went through it. There's just shit strewn everywhere, because I'm like, oh, I'm going to clean up my room. And then I got done with that, and then I'm like, oh, now I should clean out my closet that I haven't done in probably since I moved in here, like, 13 or 14 years ago. <laughs> so. Then I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta clean out my her closet. So I took stuff out and I've been throwing it away and I donated like a guitar that was in there for some reason. I just had like an electric guitar and an amp and stuff. So I donated that and then I've got stacks on stacks on stacks of clothing that I haven't worn in years and years and years that are going to go away here that I'm going to put in a box and donate and I have garbage bags full of this that and the other thing that are going away there's just clay deposit oh yeah because now you can build houses in this yeah so I've got all that go and I've got piles of shoes because I'm a hoarder for shoes for some reason like I have six pairs of shoes in my closet and that doesn't include the pair of boots I've been and shoes I've been wearing interspersedly because it's still winter and kind of shitty out plus it doesn't include like my boots for work or yeah and then I have a pile I have a pile a literal pile it's five pairs of shoes deep here still that I'm going to throw them away and donate. I'm going to throw away the ones that look real bad. I'm going to donate the ones that don't look bad. I have flip-flops. I have six pairs of flip-flops, but I never wear flip-flops anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to keep like two of them just in case. Like All of a sudden I decide, oh, I need to wear some flip-flops, or I'm going to a pool party or something, or I'm going to the beach. And then the rest of those are going in a box to get donated. It's just this huge kerfuffle of stuff stuff and I wish this guy would get where he's going uh, so I'm just chuckling all right let's see where is he going no I don't need that I need this to look at this solitude the Emperor's tower and then, if I wish to earn a bonus, I must kill him. I must not kill him in Dragon Bridge or on the road, but in one of the cities he visits. So I have to wait for him to finish this first stop and go into town. Ugh. Yeah, so I just have crap 
everywhere right now. <laughs> like, oh, I need to get rid of this and this and this. And I'm thinking about redoing my desk again. <laughs> Even though I just redid that, like, probably six or eight months ago. But I'm like, oh man, this desk takes up a lot of space in my room, and I kind of don't want that right now. So I should probably, like, redo it so it takes up less space. And then I have bookshelf or I have shelves above my desk. It's like, oh, I should probably redo those so they look better. Even though that was in the same time as when I put the desk up. So it's like, I got all that stuff going on. <laughs> 